Well, here's a topic that's been in the news recently and in the past few years, but continues to be an issue in schools everywhere. Bullying. A local high school freshman realizes the solution to bullying has to involve more than just a program or an in-school seminar. God needs to be involved as well. She's starting a new anti-bullying support group, which meets downtown weekly at a downtown Lima church. Dancy joins us again, this time introducing us to Megan Hiddle. Growing up today is not easy. It never has been, but it seems with social media and everything, all the images coming at us today makes it especially hard. And joining me now is Megan Hiddle. And Megan has started an anti-bullying campaign in um, Allen County. And I love the title because I think it's catchy. It, it draws people in. It's called No Bull, Just Faith. So welcome to you. Hi, thanks Hello. for having me. Yeah, so Megan, you are a freshman. 15 years old at Perry High School, and you have taken on quite a project. So can you um, kind of take us back to how this all started? Um, it started in third grade. Um, these girls would bully me because my hair was weird or because I didn't dress like them, and it was really bad. I still deal with it today, but it's not as bad as it was back then. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, listening to your story, I can tell it still hurts. Um, I can tell that, um, you know, that this is something you'll never forget, I'm sure. Um, but you are a survivor and you are dealing with it um, through God's help. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. How has your faith helped you? Um, my faith has helped me grow and be more than I was when it started. I was happy that God was there telling me that you are made in my image of you and I put you through these battles because I know in the end you will come out the victor and you will be strong. Exactly. Do the right thing and the right thing will happen to you and, and I just wish um, we could all understand that. So um, you have a, a new campaign and you are meeting now on a weekly basis at St. Mark's United Methodist Church. Um, what are you hoping that um, your fellow teenagers will learn from that? I am hoping that not just those who are bullied, but also the people that may have guilt about bullying come to your classes, don't you? I do, but it takes a while for them to build up the trust to say, I'm bullied, I'm being bullied and I need help or I'm the bully and I need help on how to stop so nothing else can go wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's a lot of trust that comes into this, um, this whole project. So um, as you said, you're starting off small, but um, you're hoping that as you tell your story, others will feel comfortable sharing theirs. I do because it takes one person to stand up to help in bullying, but it takes a army to actually say, well, we don't want it back and we're done with it. And it'll take a while, but I know that with God by my side, we're going to be able to end bullying. Absolutely. Well, if anybody is interested, um, you know, if, if your story has reached them and, and they're thinking, I really would like to help you and help others and help myself, um, where can they find you then? Um, they can find me at St. Mark's um, every Monday from 6.30 to 7.30. I'm there. I'm down waiting. If you want to come and talk to me about you being the bullied or you... Feeling you anger. being bull mm -hmm. bullied or feeling anger, um, I'm there. I will set aside whatever I'm doing and I will talk to you and I'm there. And you can also reach me through the church or through email or Facebook. I'm always going to be there to help those who need help. Okay. All right. Sometimes it just takes one person and hopefully you're it. So thank you very much, Megan, for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. All right. Back to you, Jen.